Hello and welcome. Let us prepare simplex table 2. We have already prepared simplex table 1 and we have selected x2 as key column, r2 as key row, 4 as key element. Now, first we have to prepare the row in the new table in the place of r2 that means that will be r2 plus 3 r5 r5 will be r2 divided by 4 r5 r2 divided by key element r4 that is one fourth of r2 is r r5 2 divided by 4 that is 1 by 2 4 divided by 4 1 2 divided by 4 is 1 by 2, 0 divided by anything, 0, minus 1 divided by 4, minus 1 by 4, 1 divided by 4, 1 by 4, 0 divided by anything, 0, okay, sorry, we are not going to prepare the column of A1 because A1 is the outgoing variable, so drop the column of outgoing variable, yes, 480 divided by 4 will be 120. Now it is turn of R3. Sorry, R4. That will take place of R1, R4. R4 will be old row, R1, minus sign, element in the key column, 1, into replaced row, 5. That is R1 minus R5. Very simple. R1 minus R5. 3 is R1 minus sign. R5 is 1 by 2. So it will be 5 by 2. Because 3 minus half is 2.5 or 5 by 2. R1 is 1 here. Minus sign according to formula. R5 is also 1, 0. See, always in the next table, there will be 0 in the place of key element. In the, for, uh, sorry, row above or below the key row. R1 is 4, minus sign according to formula, R5 is half, 4 minus half means 3 and a half or 7 by 2, 1 is R1 here, minus sign according to formula and R5 is 0 here, so 1, 0 is R1 here, minus sign according to formula, minus 1 by 4 is R5, so 0 minus minus 1 by 4 is 0 plus 1 by 4. So 1 by 4. 0 minus 0. 0. 600 is R1 minus sign according to formula. 120 is R5. So it is 480. And in the same way we are going to prepare R6. That will take place of R3. Old row. Minus sign element in the key column replaced row. Old row minus sign element in the key column in old row multiplied by the replaced row. <coughs> R3 minus 3, R5. R3, 2. Minus and 3 from formula. R5 is 1 by 2. That means 2 minus 3 by 2. 2 minus 1.5 is 0.5 or half or 1 by 2. R3 is 3 here. Minus 3 into R5 that is 1. So ultimately it is 3 minus 3 it is 0. Again R3 is 3 here. Minus sign from formula 3 from formula. R5 is half or 1 by 2 here. So 3 minus 3 by 2 remains 3 by 2. Okay. 0 is R3 here. Minus sign and 3 from formula. R5 is 0. So three mi 0 minus 0 is 0. R3 is 0 here. Minus and 3 from the formula. R5 is minus 1 by 4. So ultimately it is 0 minus 3 into minus 1 by 4 is positive 3 by 4. So it is 3 by 4 here. 1 is R3 minus and 3 according to formula. 0 is R5. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 
540 540 is r3 minus 3 into 120 will be minus 3 into r5 540 minus 360 so remaining is 180 so this was third row of the new table or simplex table two now first of all we have to write the solution variables in first row that is not replacement row or key row so no change s1 as it was a1 is the very vari solution variable of key row that will be dropped and in its place the variable of key column will be there so x2 is going to take the place of a1 third row was not key row so no change a2 the coefficient of s1 in the objective function is 0 the coefficient of x2 in the objective function is 3 and for a2 it is minus m 0 now z values 0 into 5 by 2 that means 0 3 into 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus m into 1 by 2 minus m by 2 so summation is 3 by 2 minus m by 2 Next will be 0 into 0, 0, 3 into 1, 3, minus m into 0, 0, so 3. Next, 0 into 7 by 2, 0, 3 into 1 by 2, 3 by 2, minus m into 3 by 2, minus 3m by 2. So, 3 by 2, minus 3m by 2. Next, 0 into 1, 0. 3 into 0, 0, minus m into 0, also 0. Next, 0 into 1 by 4, 0, 3 into minus 1 by 4, minus 3 by 4, and minus m into 3 by 4 is minus 3m by 4. So, minus 3 by 4, minus 3m by 4. And in the last row, it will be, 0 into 0, 0 into 0, minus m into 1, minus m. In case of bigger method, we are going to write ZJ values only in case of optimal solution and to check whether this is optimal solution or not, we have to write ZJ or rather delta J values that will be CJ minus ZJ. What is the Delta value of first 2 minus 3 by 2 minus m. 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by, sorry, m by 2, not 3 by 2, sorry, m by 2. So ultimately, what is it? 2 minus 3 by 2 plus m by 2. Let us take 2 as LCM. 2 divided by 1, 2 into 2, 4, minus 2 divided by 2, 1 into 3, 3, plus 2 divided by 2, 1 into m, m. So ultimately it is 4 minus 3, 1, 1 plus m by 2, 1 plus m by 2 or 1 by 2 plus m by 2. Three minus three zero. In this case now it is we need the simplification. I am going to show the simplification. 4 minus 3 by 2 minus 3m by 2. So it will be 4 minus 3 by 2 plus 3m by 2. Again let us take 2 as LCM. 2 divided by 1, 2, 2 into 4, 8 minus sign 2 divided by 2 1 1 into 3 3 plus sign 2 divided by 2 1 1 into 3 m 3 m so it is 5 8 minus 3 5 5 plus 3 m by 2 or 5 by 2 plus 3 m by 2 5 plus 3 m by 2 that is equal to 5 by 2 plus 3 m by 2 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus this is 3 by 4 plus 3m by 4. And 
in last case minus m minus minus m this minus m plus m zero. Now we have all delta j values available. Let us first check whether this is optimal solution or not. What is the objective? The objective is maximization. What is the condition or rule? In case of maximization problem, to have the optimal solution, all delta j values should be zero or negative. No. All delta values are zero or positive. So this is not an optimal solution. Now what? Then we have to move forward. We have to prepare simplex table 3. For that purpose, first of all, we have to select the highest delta j value in this case. Highest delta j value. Now which is highest delta j value? Ignoring all numerical values, just compare m. Okay, m by 2, 3m by 2, 3m by 4. Forget m by 2 because it is less than 3m by 2 and 3m by 4. But now what is it? It is competition between 3m by 2 and 3m by 4. So 3m by 2 is higher. That's why we have to select this column. Or column of x3 becomes the key column. Column of x3 becomes key column. So now we can calculate the replacement ratio or minimum ratio. Now what is the calculation of replacement ratio? Divide the solution values by the respective elements of the key column. So 480 divided by 7 by 2. Next will be 120 divided by 1 by 2. And next will be 180 divided by 3 by 2. We have to simplify. 480 into 2, 960 divided by 7. 960 divided by 7. Two, 120 into 2, 240 divided by 1. Yes, it is. 180 into 2 divided by 3. 360 divided by 3, 120. Which one is the lowest out of all this? So, 120 is the lowest out of all this. The row with minimum ratio becomes outgoing row. That means R6 becomes outgoing row or replacement row or key row. X3 is key column. R6, the third row of the simplex table number 2 is key row. Its common element row is 3 by 2. This 3 by 2 becomes the key element. For the next table, first we will have to write the third row in place of R6. That will be row 9, R9. And its formula will be R6 divided by 3 by 2 or simply R6 multiplied by 2 by 3. That's it for now. In the next lecture we are going to prepare simplex table 3. Thank you very much.